Good morning. It's Tuesday. It is time to say goodbye to the garden. So one last video here. Um, oh, there's some nice peppers there I could still save. I've been saving peppers in the shed, and it's been cool enough that they're, they're doing pretty well. All these are going to go. The ground is finally soft enough after all that rain to pull out the um, these really heavy-duty cages. First, I'm going to have to pick off the peppers. I said I picked off a dishpan of good ones. Pick off the peppers so that the... Uh, Got to take the plants out before you take the cages off or else the cages will bend. The lettuce is still fine. We can keep that. Um, probably throw everything on the fire pile. Tomatoes, I think the only thing I'm going to save... Well, I'll save my Mad Hatter pepper here. I won't save any of these tomatoes. <laughs> Mad Hatter pepper is still just, still growing. And then I'll save, oh, all that has to go. Just pull that up too. My goodness, those elderberry bushes got, well, maybe that'll be protection for the winter. I don't know. It's kind of hard to finish up the picking because I still have such really nice peppers in mid-October. I have three dishpans this size full of peppers in the shed, and they're Oh, good morning. Looks like we actually have clear skies and sunshine today. It's Thursday morning. Uh, we did not tear out these pepper plants yet. In fact, we're keeping a few of them. Here's a, a lone jalapeno plant there. So this is the west side of the garden. All the tomatoes in this part are gone. And we've got one lone mini sweet pepper over there. Uh, Stan's planning on tilling this up probably today because I think it's going to rain again. You see the towers of, over here too, of those cages. And the corn shock pile that was burned down is now full of pepper plants and tomato plants. We had to prune the, prune or break off, the peppers are pretty easy to break off inside the cages so the cages didn't bend, worked really well. The cages, I think I only had one cage that the bottom part broke off. It wasn't quite careful enough or maybe it was like that already. Okay, so I don't know if we're doing this today, probably. Sun hasn't even come up yet, but Stan is trying to beat the rain. Good morning, it is Friday morning, October the 20th? Yeah, the 20th. Notice what's missing here? <laughs> Stan finally chopped down the I think it was a honey, honey crisp, honey crisp tree here that wasn't having good fruit, hardly any fruit, not good fruit. Had to duck under the branches and spider webs every time I we went to the garden. With this as a big patch of grass, it's going to make this so much nicer. He's had to cut down a bunch of uh, bad trees this year. Okay, so before it rained, oh goodness, spider webs, talk about spider webs, really? Before it rained yesterday, we got another three quarters of an inch. Stan tilled. So we tilled up the part. I'm not sure he's real happy with me for saving that one pepper plant, but because <laughs> I mean, it's it's probably going to freeze on Sunday night anyway. So what's the point? He said then he just had to till around it. Good point. I mean, I agree with that. Uh, you see that pile has gotten a lot bigger with all the tomatoes. Let me duck under this apple tree. So these will rot, uh, most of them, the tomatoes, most of them kind of got tilled in. There's a jalapeno, which I didn't need since I have jalapenos over here, but don't tell Stan that. These are still around. I'm gonna leave these up. I mean, they're still healthy. If it weren't for that one really cold day, and over here I can't step because it's muddy. So I cut down the asparagus. He cut down all of the, what was there? Oh, the, the cucumbers. So. Almost ready for spring, just this yet to do. Oh, and he even tilled... Oh, they're still alive. He even tilled up over here where the tomatoes were. Cut all them out. This tomato plant, well, it's next to the house, it's still green. So I guess we'll see if it survives the weekend or not. Other than that, we are... we're good. Hey, Sassy. Why are you sitting in the mud? Yeah, it looks like we have uh, Thor and Loki, that's tortoiseshells and licorice, and there's Raven. 
<laughs> All in the little doghouse. Hey, kitties. Stan said he's been able to tame the two tortoises.